Right, so after all the drama of craziness of the old auditions, we now go and make some choices. And originally, we were all going to sit down together, but then Kev said he didn't want to be in the same room for me for a few days, which is understandable. So we've made our choices, and from those ridiculousness that we already had, we came up with these four perfect people. Now I present to you the perfect cast. Firstly, and of course she's first, we have Rebecca. As you can see, she'll be good. She'll be really good. I mean, yeah, she'll be really good. And then, from the video auditions, Mr. Nudie, Tom. And you know, I look at that face and I think, what's behind those eyes? And that's what I want to see in any actor. So I'm kind of happy with that one. And finally, Alice Jenny. Very solemn. Maybe she can bring a bit more cred to what we do. Who knows? But yeah, good. And Ryan. Now I, didn't, I couldn't find a photo of Ryan because Ryan doesn't believe in headshots or... I don't know, he just, he just gets very angry when we try to do it once, so forget about that. But we're here for the script read-through. They're all going to be here soon, around this table, and we're going to begin the birth of something beautiful. So, Harold's away in the uh, screening room at the moment, reviewing the footage. I, uh, you know, I know he's gonna love it, but you know, I still can't help feeling, you know, a little bit, I don't know, like my stomach's kind of going a little bit in, but I'm, I'm sure he's gonna love it, it's fine, you know, I'm just, I'm excited, you know, to find out what he's gonna think of it, you know, this is, this is it. <laughs> so, he'll be back any minute now, hopefully, fingers crossed. We're all here, we're all here, ready for the script read through. The big moment of seeing if you guys were worth choosing or not. Hopefully yes, well, you know, it's got to be open with them. No. <laughs> now, sadly, Ryan's running a little bit late, but that's okay. We're just going to go through it, and when it gets Ryan's bits, hopefully he will magically appear in that seat. So, fingers crossed on that one, guys. Let's start, though. Yeah. I'll read the direction to give you a bit of a feeling of how it looks and where it's going, and you know. <coughs> oh dear. Oh, can't make it worse. Oh. So title, working title. That might change, we'll see. Scene one. Interior. Living room. Like this one. Morning. Mm -hmm. You know, when sun just come up, it's all good. We start in the clean and tidy living room. Not like this one. This one's not as tidy, but yeah. With curtains half drawn, as you can see, those curtains, you know, they, they need to be drawn more, we'll see, we'll see. With curtains half drawn, as the sun shines through in a glorious beam. We can probably do that. Dust particles float through the air and gleam from the stark bright light. A clock ticks in the background, imagine it. Monotonous, <laughs> continuous, you a year. Echoing around the room, dense with silence. Scene two, interior, kitchen, morning. A tap drips. That's, that's sort of the same sound, you get what I'm trying to do. And we see the kitchen, all clean and tidy. Very clean house we're looking for in this one. A light gleams and glistens around the room as each droplet of water falls. The hum of the fridge mm, reverberates around the room. Dull and yet somehow comforting. Like, you know, when you got one of those things for your back and you can hear that vibration on your back and you feel comforted, you know? 
A pot plant in the corner drops one of its leaves which slowly plummets to the ground below. And then, as you know, we've done scene one, scene two, so we follow with scene three. Interior bedroom, morning. Now, obviously, there's some, probably some description of the bedroom Do you here. think perhaps you could just actually read what the actual direction is and maybe set the scene later? Otherwise, we're going to be here all night trying to do the read-through. I think these guys need to get the full vision. Do you guys need to get the full vision? I, no, vision? I think we're getting it. It's pretty we're certainly written. getting a very full vision. I mean, they do have the, di the direction written in front of them. Yeah. I oh, mean, this yeah. is just a read-through just for them to, okay. you know, read-through. All right then, we'll, we'll read for it like there's no director in the room, eh? Scene better. three, interior, bedroom, morning. The sun beats through the curtains onto a messy, unmade bed. I won't, yeah. Do they is bunched up and it's unclear if there's anyone in the bed or not. Clothes are folded neatly at the end of the bed. A light blue blouse with a darker long blue skirt. With a bra and some knickers and a pair of socks. We see the bed owner, too still to be alive. Her head hangs out from under the sheet. She is deathly white and her coldness permeates the room, fighting and winning against the heat of the sun. All right then, let's carry on. Cool. Oh, scene four. So, um, do you think the film's good? <laughs> good. Uh, I try not to produce things that are just, you know, good, good seems a little bit in the middle of the road. You should watch it actually. You might, uh, might pick a couple of things up. Ah, hello. <laughs> oh. So you saw it, you loved it, it was great, but... What the fuck are you trying to do? You trying to bankrupt me, eh? I'm all for arty-farty stuff, great bit of culture, but you've seen your bloody expenses. <laughs> we'll be lucky to be in bloody business. <laughs> well, you bloody youngsters come in, you think you know the bloody lot. Well, there's, there's more room for people like me that have got a bit of experience in the business, okay? Bloody hell. You want to go and see our accountant? Yeah, I'll fucking well see him. Well, I did speak to you about the, the expenses in, in advance. Yes, you did speak to me, but for Christ's sake, you've added about 50% on what we were going to do. Uh, Jackson, what are you doing? Piss off, for Christ's sake. Oh, uh, sorry. Uh... God, that's all I bloody need. Right, and you've got to do something about this. Of course, what right? do you need me to do? I want you to cut back on the expenses. Be bloody reasonable, for Christ's sake. Do you think money grows on trees? Maybe you did when you were a student. You could do all your bloody well wanted. We had to come up the hard way, mate. Oh, don't, don't get me wrong. I'm, I'm more than... <laughs> more, yeah. more than a tutor to hard work. Um, I've put a lot of hard work into this. And... I think for, for you to tell me that, you know, the budget's gone... A bit too far, right? Are you trying to wind me up? Don't get bloody clever with me, all right? We're going to be out of this organisation. You're bloody lucky I haven't kicked your ass straight out the bloody window. The sun dazzles the outside of this suburban paradise. A bird sings a cheerful and jovial song, which apparently all of you know what that sounds like, in the background. The trees blow in the wind, further exposing the dazzling sun. A car pulls up, disturbing the otherwise perfect tranquility. Don. Who's not here, so we'll just read on without him. Well, we could go to, like, at least let me read Don gets out of the car, along with a young woman who was carrying a case with her. Okay. Or we could just read on without him. Okay, okay. Well, let's get to scene 12, then. Okay. Uh, no, no, don't look away from me like that. Hey. Now, come on, you give me a list tomorrow morning of, of the cutbacks that you're going to make, okay, to make this a going concern. Because otherwise, this firm fucking folds, okay? I'm out of a job, you're out of a job. And I've worked 30 years on this to get somewhere, eh? I don't want you coming in and cocking it all up for me. Oh, don't all worry, right? there won't be any cock -ups. And don't look so fucking defensive, mate, folding your arms like that on me. Who do you think you are? Yeah, okay. And just don't that stupid grin off your face. Still here, I told you to piss off, didn't I? Oh, Dad, sorry. sorry. For sorry. sake. We don't need this, you know. Pain in the arse. Christ almighty, I'm surrounded by fucking cretins. I think he's dead. Think? Are you supposed to be a trainee doctor? Yeah, a trainee. I've never seen anything like this, though. Where's that bloke gone? 
Sergeant Roberts. He went to the loo, I think. Well, that's suspicious. What's he doing here? It's anyway? standard procedure when you find a body. I thought you said you didn't know if he was dead or not. Don's grandmother upstairs. Sorry, come here, Mark. Yeah, carry on, carry on. Such a nice lady. Always invite me around for dinner. Oh, yeah. Hey, mind you. Hello. You alright? Don't like old lady. Yeah, good, thank you. Alright, come right. on in. Uh, you might want to check the plumbing in there, it's not flushing. Oh, so, what's, what's going on here? Okay. No pulse, he just collapsed. I don't know what caused it. Do you think we should go back to the start, guys? He's got a point. Seeing as Ryan's here, he is one of the key actors. Yeah, but I don't want to jump in, you know, I want to get into the character. I think if we go back to the start, it makes more sense. Let's go back to the beginning. Maybe you should have been here on time. Alright. Scene one. Sorry about this, guys. They're going to do the same great performance again, that's why we hired them. You know, that's the whole point of it. Scene one, interior, living room, morning. Now, Ryan, before I get into the description, can you picture that living room in the morning? Do you need some more representation? No, I can give that a shot. Okay. So we start in the clean and tidy living room. Scene four, exterior, the house, morning. The sun dazzles the outside of this suburban paradise. A bird sings a cheerful and jovial song. In the background, the trees blow in the wind, further exposing the dazzling sun. A car pulls up, disturbing the otherwise perfect tranquility. Don gets out of the car, along with a young woman who is carrying a case with her. This is the place. Thank you so much for coming. And this is your grandmother's house? Yes. God, I hope we got to her in time. It's what I've been training for. You're a good person. Okay. Sorry. Um, is, is that how it's supposed to be? It, well, that's how his character's supposed to be. You've got your character. Right, okay. Okay, fine. It, but this isn't set in America or anything, because I, I don't do accents. So. Would you say that was an American accent? Yeah. Well, yes. What so, so, what, what, what's wrong with the accent? It gives the character Well, no, it's, it's, it's just I didn't think we were... It could be a fact story. this in America. I mean, if he it might, is, might have flown over. Yeah, 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 fine, yeah, yeah. Well, no, no, yeah. Yeah, yeah, fair enough. Song, fair point, yeah, no, I just didn't realise that that was the case. Sorry. Sorry. Does Sorry. anybody oh, else disagree yeah. with directions of actors? No, good, good. good. Didn't think it was good to give anyone a chance, but good. Okay, let's carry on. Okay. Hannah? Yeah. Just don't tell the hospital that I'm doing house calls. Dr. Thompson would not approve. So, how do you think it's going in there? It's <sighs> pretty frustrating, really, to be honest. They don't come from the same background as me. You know, in porn, we get a character, we stay in character. That's the whole point. Like, I've played loads of different characters. I've been a pirate. I've been a fireman. I've been a, a, a pizza delivery guy. Where I was Italian. And I brought the pizza. The pepperoni pizza. And I brought another package for you. You know, you, so... I just don't understand, like, how them amateurs think that they know better than me. I've got this character Neil to a T and uh, I'm just not getting any appreciation for it so I'm a little bit annoyed. Yeah, it's okay. I'm, I was a bit nervous when I arrived because obviously first time meeting these guys but uh, um, I think everything's going quite well. Um, I, I, I think uh, um, sounds good at giving direction and, and able to make sure that we're all on the same page as it were. Obviously it's table reads. Uh, you know, I think that... Uh, um, hopefully we can get through it. Um, that um, Ryan guy was a bit... I, I didn't quite get why he did that accent. Um, I was a bit worried about that because there was nothing said anywhere that this was set in America so I just thought you know, I, I don't really do accents so I, I, I thought, oh god, if I need to do that uh, I'm, I'm, I'm the wrong person really but um, but no, I think what Sam said was um, that he's all fine and that's the way he's going to play that character. So I know I need to look into mine, develop mine a bit more and uh, um, I'm sure that he'll help me with that. Um, so uh, yeah, is, is that sort of what you want me to say? Uh, the whole process, I mean, it's, uh, it's, it's getting there. Um, honestly, 
yeah, it would be nice. Sometimes if things moved a bit quicker, you know, honestly, I just want to get that feature film down on my acting CV, done and dusted. And I don't know, yeah, I, I just want it to get done, to be honest. It's good, it's good. Uh, could be better. And Ryan, um, the accent, not so keen. Uh, don't really know. Is he an actor by profession? Does he the, an experienced actor? Um, well, he's paid for a certain kind of acting. Right, yeah, yeah, yeah. Paid acting roles, I get it, I get it. But, I mean, I don't know. I want to see something more from him. I know he can give more. That's a really great experience. I'm loving being in the documentary. You know, the read through is going well too. I think the part's really, you know, really well suited to me. I'm enjoying it. But you know, it's like, it's really fun being in this environment. You know, everyone's kind of kooky, crazy. It's fun to be around. It's just interesting, you know, kind of having this set up all the time. It's an interesting experience. I'm really, I think I'm really thriving, you know. Fuck you! Fuck you and your building! Fuck you! You don't understand me! I'm full fucking Renoir! I'm gonna be bigger than this fucking building! Huh? You don't understand my art? Fuck you! Do you ever put that camera down? Give it a fucking rest, Jackson! Alright, alright, jeez. Scene 23. I don't get it. Why me? Why? Why am I here? I never did anything wrong. Neither did I. You might want to think twice about this. <clears throat> I found this. But why? Did this Don person have any reason to hurt any of us? Who could possibly want to hurt me? I'm lovely to everyone. Didn't you say earlier that Mrs Cleveland invited you round a lot, but you never came? If she'd had a friend around, maybe we'd have been able to save her in time. Why is that my responsibility? Yeah, yeah, that was golden. Before we go and make a few notes, mm -hmm. you know, you guys were cool, very happy with it. Kind of got a bit of an Edwardian accent coming in, but I liked it. It was just a bit different, you know. Rebecca? I just want you to say one line differently, because I like the, I don't get it, why, why am I here? I never did anything wrong. But I want instead a, I never did anything wrong. Okay. More of a, wrong. No, I think but, no, how I Rebecca did it was right. But let's see how it goes my way. Okay. Yeah, when you're ready. Should I say the whole line? Yeah, just the whole line. I don't get it, why me? Why am I here? I never did anything wrong. Neither yeah. did I. Right. Oh, sorry. You need to interrupt. Yeah, I mean it's more wrong, but you know we'll get there. We'll get. It's we'll, fine. We'll get that pitch right. We'll get that pitch right. Okay then. I shouldn't have come here. Oh, why did you bring me here? Just oh, I shouldn't have come here. You, you knew this was going to happen. I just need to get out of here now. Oh, God, truth. Oh, calm down. Calm down. Take a moment to think. Rationally. We need to cut up the body. We need to find the key. Oh God, I need a fag. Hush. What sort of sick revenge is this? Do you have no respect for the stress of my job? Being a police officer isn't a fucking walk in the fucking park. Unless it's a park of fucking psychopathic killers! Oh shit! I need to be free! I just want to be free! Just let me be free! <laughs> okay. I, yeah, I mean, end of scene, end of scene. I mean, I didn't expect you to get naked, but I guess we've got to do what we've got to do sometimes. Uh, oh, wow. Okay. Oh, God. Um, 
Oh, what's, what's, what's going hey, on? Good to meet you. Uh, and this is Tom. Hey, uh, R- Rishi. 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 Hey. Good to meet you. Nice to meet you. Alice, Jamie. Hey, Hi. hey. Rishi. Hey, nice. nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Rebecca. <laughs> hey. Hey. Oh, I recognise you. Yeah. Um. You dropped your phone. Yeah. yeah. That's right. Well, this, yeah. uh, this girl must join us to see some scenes. We're almost uh, near the end. Is that good? That was perfect. That was yeah. perfect. Put some clothes on. That was perfect. That was perfect. Uh, it's got to go in. Perfect. <laughs> yeah, don't worry. That, that'll be in the film. Yeah, we happy with that in the film? Everyone? Uh, we, are we happy with that in the film? I'm literally speechless right now. Look, it's, it's her, isn't it? It's her, you know, Rebecca. That, that is her. You know, uh, from, the... from the party. The party. I mean, she looks a bit different. She's in costume there, but that's that's the one that Paul kissed. Come on, look. Can you see? See, you know, she's changed her look a bit, but that's her. And I don't think, I don't think anyone knows it's her. So, you know, if Jane knew that Paul had kissed her, then... I mean, would she be happy, you know, with her being here? It's her. Come on, you see it, yeah? Uh, look. Maybe. Come on, come on, champ, look. It's her. I, I, I suppose her voice sounds familiar. Detective Rishi. So, how did you guys feel it went? I mean, I felt it went really well, but I just want to get your take on it and if there's anything you didn't feel comfortable with or anything like that. Okay. Mm. Uh, I mean, I think it was a nice script. Everyone worked together really well. Mm-hmm. It was like nice mm-hmm. kind of yeah. relationship between everyone. Yeah, yeah. You, you can see how the good. characters couldn't develop out of it. It's, um, I mean, it's, it's written really well. Yeah, I mean, just from an outsider's perspective, watching you two, you know, especially sort of like relationships building up with the other characters, I'm just not sure that your character really needs quite so much, um, like, nudity all the time. Well, yeah, but he, you've got to remember he's he's a character under a great deal of stress. Um, he's mentally not there all the time. He want he wants freedom, um, and I think it, it it's a way of showing all the stress that he's under and and the, the fact that he can only cope with it by yeah okay. giving himself that freedom. Really, it's. I mean, yeah, as that's, long that's as... what he talks about. Um, why not? I mean, you're not uncomfortable with it. Um, I don't know. Is is this something that you need to do when you're acting, or do you feel like it's essential to the role? Because I mean, I wouldn't do it unless it was paid much, much more. Yeah, but than we are. Doing <laughs> so I mean, for, that's fine. That's... For, for myself, it's uh, it, it, it's having confidence in the role as well, um, and. Yeah, you, it, I think it's there. I think I think it's something that I could commit, um, and uh, certainly Sam seems to, to be happy with the idea that it's oh. there. And and once you get into that mindset, well, just go with it. Um, I mean, that's the the characters there, so you know, have well, fun with it. Yeah, play with I, it, really. uh, respect your decision to do it. I mean, that takes excuse me a lot of balls to do. So. Yeah. So, how, how's the uh, day been, champ? Has it been a good one? It's been quite, quite an active day. Yeah, it's yeah. a bit of a strange one. Do you not think they're overacting a bit? Because uh, I think they're overacting. Like, their delivery on some of the points is just... He went crazy. Like, just a bit too well, much. Well, I mean, I only, I only saw, you know, a few bits, but... Um, yeah, but do you know it, just, it makes it interesting. No, no, no. no. Mate, seriously, I just think that it's way over the top and... You know, we don't do this in porn. Like, we, it's actually professional. You know, you get your script, you learn it, and you, you get yeah, real meaning but, in the character. I mean, porn acting, that's, you know... It's not very good acting, is it? Do you know what I mean? It's not, you know... What do you mean? You know, well, there's a... Have you had to play so many different diverse characters? It's, well, it's awesome. Well, yeah, I mean, there's lots of diversity, but it's, you know, it's... But you have to take different Porn acting, roles, you so... can't compare it to film acting, can you, you know? It's... Well, you, well, no, you can't, because it's better. <laughs> you have to be more talented to do porn acting, yeah, no, because you play por- different... You've got to... Well, Ryan, you know, you know, I... 
I respect what you do, but porn acting is bad acting, it's isn't it? It's not bad acting. It's, it's great. It's awful. More people watch it. Oh, I'm the plumber. Oh, oh will you, yeah, you know, have you ever played a plumber will you polish role? my pipe? You know, it's, nah. it, it, yeah, but that's cool. You've got to get really right into the character. You've got to then. get right into it, haven't you? Yeah. Well, you do that as well, yeah. but. Well, you were pretty damn impressive, weren't you? <laughs> oh, thanks. Those words just rolled off the page for you. It was just amazing. It was so good. Well, you made it very easy with a great script. Like, really great writing. <laughs> well, you know, I have been making films for a little bit of time. You'd hope I'd know at least something, right? Yeah, no, you can really tell. Like, really. Mm, I like that. That means we're going to do very well with this. It's going to be good. Oh, yeah, no, I definitely think so. Mm, I'd rather... No, I better take this. I better take this. Probably. Hey! Yeah? Well, you know, this could read through. It won't take too long. They'll be gone soon enough. Okay, okay, but... Let's not be like how Jane used to be when we met around Rishi's, you know? She had better be a bit quieter. Yeah, but they're in the right room. Well, you know, we <laughs> I'm still doing the script read-through. Well, we're at the end, but, you know... Okay, I get it, I get it, I get it. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Well, you've, you've said that I've been selfish before, but at the same time... Is it selfish, really? You know? Probably gonna be a bit of time, so... You know. Yeah. That selfish, really, is it? I mean, eventually we're gonna, you know. <sighs> well, maybe you're right, but maybe we should talk about this another time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, okay. That. Hang up. I don't know what you want me to do, Paul. Like anything. Like, literally anything. I... I don't have a job anymore. Yeah, and whose fault's that? I warned you. I said you were going over budget and you just wouldn't listen to me. Well, it's kind of difficult when someone tells you, you know, budget's not an issue, you know, you can have whatever you want. What do you need, you know? I, I was telling him what I thought I needed for any eventuality for that film. You know the vision I had for this. Yeah, but you sold him something and then just went completely overboard on it. And then now you're surprised well... that he's lost his shit. I can't help you. You've made your bed. You've got to lie in it now. Oh, come on. What about the next film that you're producing? What about it? Is there anything that I can I can do? No, I mean, you can be sound guy or boom technician, I don't know, but... Sound guy? What do you want from me? I don't get it. You fucked up your one and only chance. Have you got any camera operator roles or, or, or I'm half directing the guys. Or, I mean, you don't have anyone that can... You're not director. directing, if that's where this is going. I mean, I'd love to be directing, I should be directing, but... You had your chance to I... do that. Well, what, what can I do? There's got to be something, right? Let me talk to the guys, I'm sure they'll let you do, like, sound or something, but... I just... I don't know what else to say to you, like... You had the, like the most amazing job, you had it, everything there, and you just ran away with it, and just... You get ideas above your station, sometimes you need to rein it in. I know. It's just, you know how I get, you know, when someone else infringes on my creativity, and when I've got this, you know, this scope for this, this vision, for this idea, and it just gets fucked with by people like him that don't understand. You need to learn to play nicely with others or whatever, and able to get what you want. Yeah, I've never really been good at that. No, no, no. Well, if there's anything that I could do... I'll try. For me. Don't please. give me... Please. Fine, I'll try. But don't fuck it up. I won't, I promise. Promise? I promise. Promise, promise? I promise, promise. Beat the beat.